you know, you can look at costs several ways, right? What is a gallon of, of toner costs, right? Um, or a gallon, uh, you know, a gallon of base coat. Um, but if, you, if, I'm, if you're applying two coats of my product, right, and three or four or five or six of somebody else's, right, my product is exponentially less expensive, right? So we talk about consumption, right, um, a lot, right? What is your actual consumption cost? Um, so, you know, if you consume less of my product, right, you can't say that if a $40 gallon of my product is equal to a $40 gallon of my competitors. And we feel that in all of our brands, right, that's really our value proposition. But the thing is, is the, that's one thing I have to say. Even when I was working in the shops, uh, I, I always get a key for the shop. Uh, I'd normally start at 5. Uh, by the time everybody got there at 8.30, I get a lot of work done before they get there. So that's the thing. I think anybody that's going to be successful um, at anything, it doesn't matter what it is, uh, you have to pay your dues. You have to put in the time. Um, even when there's – people say, oh, we're slow. There's nothing to do. There's always something to do, always. So whether it's working on your shop, uh, working on cars – but always be improving your situation, no matter which way it is. Uh, yeah, when I, for a, uh, whenever I started as a porter, then, um, you know, I was cleaning cars and, uh, um, mm -hmm. you know, sweeping floors and taking out trash. And then on my breaks, I would help tear down cars and stuff because I was bored. And that's when Jay and his son took me in and started over in body because uh, I was burnt out and I wanted a chance to do something else. So he definitely taught me a lot. Um, and then it just spawned off from there. But from there, I went to not so good shops, you know, that did not support me whatsoever and put me down a lot. And then I left them and I just, that's the nice thing about, you know, being a mechanic, your toolbox has wheels, so you can take mm -hmm. it literally that day I found another job, you know, with somebody that was supportive. So, I mean, there's people out there and there's some people that aren't. So we're chasing, but but I think the, the, mis, the misconception is that everybody thinks we're chasing what's going to be changing in the industry. And quite frankly, we're already 10 years behind. Mm -hmm. So if we look really honestly at ourselves, a lot of what we should be doing right now was 2010, 2011. Um, I had a post repair inspection today come in. The car's a mess. Uh, so we had to take the customer out of it and put in a rental. And when I called the shop to fix the car, nice guys, absolutely nice guys. Um, and they're like, well, you know, I'm, I'm, and I'm kind of trying to explain, here's all the things you didn't do to the car. And their excuse was, well, it's 2018 and it's new and, you know, we can't we can't know all this stuff. And I was like, well, this OE required all this since 2012. So <laughs> so it really isn't new. Um, we haven't done a good job of making information um, digestible. We've done a great job of making information available, but available and digestible are two different things. And and when I look at our technician base and I look at our estimators and then I go, OK, I'm going to give you a website that's kind of written in German, but translated to English. And I want you to figure out how to fix the car from it. That's an unrealistic expectation. It really is. So so how do we take that information and put it in small digestible bites where the technician has it or the estimator has it? Because ultimately the estimators got to get get the lines on the estimate to get the tech paid to build the blueprint. But how do we take that information and put it in small digestible bites so that it's on demand? I think it's really important to post your mistakes because, like, obviously no one's perfect. I mean, yeah. I don't know. It's just, I don't know. And it's funny. Like, <laughs> funny to make jokes about it and just, I mean, why? Like, if I make a mistake, I'd rather laugh about it and fix it than just kind of dwell on it and let it ruin my day. <laughs>